Justice uh, of the 10th Court of Appeals. Good afternoon. I'm Tom Gray. I'm running for re-election as Chief Justice of the 10th Court of Appeals. Uh, do thank y'all for having us tonight. Uh, good turnout and uh, a good crowd. Uh, I was born in Madisonville in uh, 1956, a uh, little rural town here in the district. Um, and basically, I learned my values there on the family farm uh, in Midway, Texas, located between Madisonville and uh, Crockett. I learned how to work hard, and that's what I've done basically my whole life. I've got a regular job before I was 16. Uh, BBA from Sam Houston State University, uh, general business in 1978. 1979, I graduated with MBA in accounting from Texas A&M. Went on to uh, practice public accounting in Houston for three years and uh, basically consulted with small businesses and did audit on those businesses for three years before I came to Waco and Baylor Law School, graduating with honors in 1985. Went over to Corsicana and practiced law for three years there while living in Corsicana. Uh, next 10 years, I worked for the firm of Fulbright and Jaworski uh, out of their Dallas office, but continued to live in Corsicana. So my three schools uh, have all been here in the district, and uh, other than the three years that I uh, spent in Houston, I've been either in the district or one county beyond. Um, 98, I left the, uh, the firm of Fulbright and Jaworski for the year as a municipal judge in speed trap known as Rice, Texas and uh, did a lot of, uh, uh, I guess you'd say, changes in the way they administered uh, the municipal laws there. I was actually the first lawyer that they'd ever had as a municipal judge, uh, and they thought that was a, a really uh, good thing because uh, their revenues went up about $3,000 a month the year that I was there. So, um, also was running for the Court of Appeals in that year, 1998, and uh, was elected, and in 2003, as most of y'all know, Rex Davis left the court, I became Chief Justice, and have been elected in 2004, and again in 2006, and I am running for re-election, and y'all have already met my opponent, uh, Mr. Smith. Um, you know, in today's political climate, it seems that the way to, to win is to you know, tear down your opponent, uh, climb up on their, their corpse and bones, and shout victory. I, I just don't think any of us benefit from that. If y'all were at the lunch and y'all remember uh, I've introduced my opponent, and uh, he's a district judge. Uh, I, I give him credit for that. I mean, he, you know, 14 years ago, he and I both had a decision to make. Um, do we run for this bench or for something else? And I chose to run for this bench. My training, my experience, my education had all been directed towards being an appellate court judge. That's I did trial work, and then I, I was moving towards a, an appellate practice, and it's a, it's a special kind of law. It's not trial work. And so while my opponent's been, uh, you know, a very good trial judge down in Brazos County, we've served uh, in this district, uh, he in the southern part, me in the 18 counties, uh, he's, he is a district judge and me as an appellate court judge for, uh, you know, the 13 years, running on 14 years, uh, that we've both been doing this. So, um, you know, that's what I can bring to the table. That is what I am at the table, is a very experienced appellate court judge. Um, you know, I, as an appellate court judge, well, I just have to say, I don't do bar activities, I work. I don't teach, I work. And I love appellate law. And it's something that I really enjoy and feel like I am very capable, very good at. Um, you know, it's, I've now authored over 1,500 uh, majority and unanimous opinion. I've participated with various other judges at the disposition of over 5,000 people. And I'm running out of time. There's, you know, there's no way in the time available I can tell you everything, the 10,001 thing that I have learned in doing this job that makes me more efficient and a better appellate court judge than the day I started. And that's what you get when you get experience doing this task. Now, um, he mentioned the adverse publicity that the court has received. You don't make the changes to a conservative <coughs> court like we went through without some level of conflict. But I want you to stop and think, how long has it been since you've seen anything like that in the newspaper. And I'm telling you that the problems at the court are 
resolved. It's over with. Tommy Witherspoon has even called us boy. And so, you know, I think that's probably a good thing from a newspaper. So in conclusion, as my wife likes to say, just remember that justice is neither black nor white. It is gray, Tom Gray. <laughs>